Hi everyone, this is Master Hope coming to you with your Fitness Protection Connection program. Today we are going to learn the push kick. What is that? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> the push kick is just that. It's a kick that pushes your opponent away from you or keeps a distance between you and the attacker. Okay, so uh, we're going to learn that uh, from the bag and also from the ground. Okay, so because a lot of your attacks may end up on the ground, about 90% of them actually will. So you want to learn how to be able to do these kicks from the, from the ground as well. Okay, as well as standing. So in Anyway, let's get started, okay? So here we go. Let's just go ahead and uh, warm up the lower body here. You're kind of do, doing a standing crunch, pulling in those belly, pulling in the belly to the back. There you go. Rounding the lower back here. Breathing out, exhale, watching the posture, keeping the back straight. But you just kind of want to fold forward here. Fold forward. There you go. Today I'm wearing my Nike gear. I love it. <laughs> Except for the shoes are New Balance. So, you know, shout out to them. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're going to do those. And then just do some hip rotations here to warm up those adductors and abductors. Those hip flexors. There you go. Because there again, most of your power is going to come from your hips, even though you're doing a leg push. Okay, knee circles. Those are a big thing for me, especially doing martial arts and fitness for many, many years. The knees take a pounding uh, on them. All right, good. We'll just kind of rotate the ankle here. Now, I want you to flex and point the foot as well because we want to get that foot into a flex motion because that's actually how we're going to kick. All right, so just go ahead and rotate, loosen them up. Loosen them up and then flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. Good job. Okay, so let's get started. Um, all right, so here we go. So your opponent is out in front. Now, if someone is approaching you, okay, and you want to keep them away from you, what you're going to do is you're going to bring that knee up as high as you can into the chest. So let's do a couple of those. Bring them up to the chest, flexing the foot out, flex the foot out. Bring them up, bring them up, just like how we did a warm up there. The knee is gonna come up to the chest, just like that. Now notice you see the bottom part of my foot here, okay? So you wanna flex that foot up, good, okay. I like to keep the hands up, like no, 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 stop. All right, but then you're gonna bring the foot up and you're gonna push onto their body. Now the best place for loss of balance is usually gonna be by the hip area, Okay, also to the ribs, you can also do the chest area as well, but somewhere around here, but the most effective is probably going to be around the hip, okay, and the leg, the top of the leg. So you're going to push it out, push, extending the hip flexor forward and pushing out through the leg there. So up, push, up, push, up, push, up, and push. Good. So that distance you and the person that's coming at you and what it does it actually pushes them back a little bit all right so if they start to come at you again then of course you can do other techniques as well but the main thing is is just to kind of keep a distance uh, between you and the opponent all right so now how do you do a push kick on the ground well last time we did side kick from the floor okay the main point is is you don't <laughs> want to get on the floor if at all possible um, but if you do happen to be in that situation you can still do a self-defense move all right so we're going to practice some of these right here so say so you're getting down on the you you fell down or you got pushed down okay typically people land on their hands okay or on their elbows or sometimes even down on the ground so what you want to do is bring that knee into the chest and the foot is flexed just like we did standing up and you're going to extend that hip forward okay so it's like a half bridge on the other side of the leg knee up into the chest pushing out exhaling knee up push out exhale knee up push out exhale now let's try it from the elbows knee up push out and exhale you really want to get that bum off 
off of the ground. There is a push so that you get that momentum and the force out again. Now, where does this kick go? Again, depending on where the person is standing, okay? If they're starting to come down upon you, then of course the hip, or if their face is right there, kick them in the face. All right, so you have a couple of different target areas, the face, the ribs, the uh, leg, all right? So up, push, up, push, and then if you're all the way down as well, use those hands as a base, and the shoulders stay down and pushing straight up, boom, kicking, boom. Now after that, you want to turn to the side. You can do your side kick as you're coming up and then run, run, run for safety, okay? Uh, there. So that's your push kick for today. And then soon we'll be reviewing all of the other kicks that you can do for our cardio portion once we get our program started. All right. But all right. So anyway, if you have any questions, comments, please subscribe and leave them down below and share uh, this important uh, technique that may be able to help save your life or someone else's okay it's very important but practice practice these techniques when you can only takes a few minutes like us uh, like I showed you all right but if you incorporate some of the other kicks and some of the other strikes as well okay which we are going to be doing shortly I plan on doing that starting in June is coming out with some full uh, blown uh, courses for you and as soon as I get some Wi-Fi connection out here we're gonna start doing some live streaming so I'm really looking forward to that and uh, helping you stay safe okay so remember it's the fitness connection per to protection connection excuse me <laughs> all right uh, say that fast three times <laughs> anyway um, or fitness finding whatever whatever works best for you but uh, go ahead and uh, click the like button and subscribe and then also share it with your friends so that we can get more uh, followers to be safe okay empowering you and incorporating fitness with self-protection thank you so much for joining me I hope this was helpful to you Remember to practice and stay safe.